Hey everybody, this is Allie Edwards and I am back today with another Craft the Story video for you. For this one, I am putting another story into my summer notebook, summer stories notebook. I'll probably do, be doing maybe a couple more of these to wrap up the summer. As you can see there, I printed out uh, six different flower photos from around my yard. I printed them onto a canvas that's uh, four, let's see, four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Actually, you know, that was what I cropped it to be. And as you can see, what I'm doing right there is I'm cutting three sides of that or two sides of it so that I can have a flip up so that this becomes a photo in my album with a flip up section for something else. I also knew that I wanted to pair this photo with, uh, or this photo collage with some sort of pattern paper. And I looked through a bunch of the extras, things that I have from recent art play that I've done around here and am using Mod Podge. You can see my paintbrush is a little dirty there. Mod Podge to add um, adhesive on to the backside of the most recent uh, story that I added in there. And then I am adding the deli paper right on top. And that's deli paper that I just stamped off of onto uh, when I was uh, playing around with doing some other stamping for another project. So I'm going ahead and cutting off the excess of that deli sheet there. Uh, definitely a little textured with the Mod Podge. Sometimes when you're using wet adhesive like that, it can be a little tricky to get it flat. But I'm I feel like I'm welcoming that texture. I kind of like how it turned out in the end and you'll see what I add on top of there in just a minute here. What I plan to do is I went through a bunch of the journal cards from the ampersand story kit and we'll be using one of them here to hold the story of some of the flowers around my yard this summer. Uh, I love the idea of being able to take those three by four cards and just add them on top of a pattern paper in the notebook, uh, creating a very specific home for my story. I'm going ahead and corner rounding the edges of that three by four card and then I'm going to go ahead and write my journaling on there in a little bit but before I do that I'm going to add in the collage of photos just temporarily adhering it or partly adhering it um, in there so that I can still work a little bit underneath that flip up portion um, there, I still want to. I was still at this point, wasn't sure exactly what I was going to stick underneath there. Rounding the edges, those far corner edges, keeping up with that as a look in the album itself. Then I'm adding on an Avery index tab there along the edge of the flap. It's one of my favorite things to add on um, to to tell any viewers of this that there is a flip up there right that works just um, as a way to tell your tell your viewer what to do or tell yourself what to do so I love those plastic pieces for that I'm going ahead and journaling straight on to this uh, three by four journal card just talking a little bit about walking around the yard how much I enjoy my yard and how these are some of the different blooms that I had captured in the yard this summer I'm not using a specific journaling pen I'm using this is a uniball vision elite pen it's my favorite pen just for regular writing um, you know everyday writing kinds of things and it works its way into my projects here every once in a while so that's what I'm using on this one I always write just by simply starting at the top and then as I get closer to the bottom I wrap it up and then almost always underline uh, my journal I've been doing that for a couple years now where I just feel like I can't stop doing that. So going ahead and adding adhesive on there and then adhering that directly down onto that patterned deli page. You could use any kind of pattern paper obviously uh, behind there. And then thinking a little bit about um, what I wanted to add on the inside. Before I did that, I went ahead and stamped the date and that's gonna get slipped inside that Avery Index uh, tab there. Super cute to be able to flip that up. And then I went through and looked at uh, my August Stories by the Month to see if there were any things that I could use from that uh, Stories by the Month kit. And I'm going to, what I ended up using was this um, three by four card there. And this is the stamp that says August. It looks like this. And I'm going to stamp it right inside that circle. This is another journaling card that I cut down. And then I can, I'm going to be able to stick that right inside, uh, tuck that inside that flap. And so I'm doing a little bit 
bit of maneuvering around to get it right in the place where I like it there. So again, this is a product. These are two products from the August Stories by the Month uh, kit. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there. I think I'm going to adhere it down pretty soon. And I am going to stamp again um, another stamp on top of there that you'll see in just a minute. And obviously you could be adding this onto um, the top portion of the flip up there too. Um, that one says filled with gratitude. That was, I believe, one of the Week in the Life stamp sets that we offered earlier this year. And then I did take another deli sheet that I had um, done some rolling off of and some stenciling when I was playing around in my art journal and just cutting a little piece of that to have that be underneath the flap of, of this page. Definitely a fun way to play in your notebook, whether you're doing a summer notebook or just generally documenting some stories uh, in one of these notebook style of albums. It's not an album, it's a notebook. It's super fun. I've really, really enjoyed it this summer. It's really given me um, a, a fun, different way to approach getting some of these stories told this summer in, a, in what's felt like a pretty quick and easy way.